Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2016 movie, Pet. It's time to recall. Let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we can see a man named Seth. He gets up from his bed and gets ready for going to work. Seth lives alone and has no friends, nor does he have a healthy social life. Seth is kind of a loner. Seth works in the animal control department. His work there is to take care of the animals in the pound. He is very attached to these animals, and playing with these animals makes him happy. This is Seth's life, and he has no one in his life, and he struggles with his life. The pound is the only place where he gets happy as he interacts with the animals there. One day as Seth is going back home from work on a bus, he notices a familiar face. He walks up to a girl who is sitting alone and calls her by her name, Holly. The girl's name is Holly, but she does not recognize Seth. Seth then tells her that he was with her in college. Seth sees a diary in Holly's hand and asks her what that diary was for. She tells him that she keeps notes of everything that happens to her every day. Seth is about to ask Holly for coffee when suddenly the bus stops and Holly tells him that she has to get off at this stop, then leaves. As Seth gets back home, he sits on his computer and starts to stalk Holly on the internet. He finds her profile and notices that her relationship status is single. The next day, he goes to work. There, he asks his co-worker for advice on how he should impress a girl that he likes. The co-worker tells him that girls often fall for guys who are confident and adventurous. He tells Seth to be confident and he will eventually get to go out with the girl. A nurse calls Seth and asks him to bring a German Shepherd dog to the doctor. The dog is too old and the department has to cut down his expenses, so they have to kill the old dog by lethal injection. Seth feels guilty for the dog and stops the doctor from killing it. The doctor tells him that he will not kill the dog, but Seth has to take the dog home with him and take care of it. Seth knows that he lives alone and has no one to take care of him, so how will he be able to take care of the dog? Seth refuses and tells the doctor to proceed. After the doctor injects, the dog dies. Seth takes the dog out and burns it. He then cleans the cage of the old German Shepherd, and as he is cleaning the cage, he notices a door. He approaches the door and opens it. He enters a room and looks around. The next scene takes us back to Seth's home where he is again stalking Holly's profile. Seth has started to like Holly and as he stalks her, he notes down everything about her that he can. He notes down her likes and dislikes so that he can impress her. Seth goes in deeper into her account details and he gets more interested in her. From her profile, he figures out that she works as a waitress in a restaurant. The next day, he goes to the hotel where Holly works as a waitress. He sees her and she is looking very beautiful. As Holly walks up to him to take his order, she does not recognize him again. He reminds her that he was the same guy she met on the bus the other day and also that they were in the same class at college. Then, to impress her, he invites her to go to her favorite singer's concert, but she refuses the offer. She tells him that she has a boyfriend and he will not like it if she goes out with Seth. Listening to this, Seth knows that she is lying as he has stalked her online and knows that she is single. Holly finishes her work and as she is going home, she notices that someone is following her. It is Seth who is following her. As Holly gets to her apartment, she tells her roommate Claire that someone is following her. Claire does not take this seriously. Holly then gets a call from her ex-boyfriend Eric. Eric is drunk and he misses Holly. Eric messed up the relationship before when they were together. The next day as Holly goes to the restaurant, she sees that someone has sent a bouquet of her favorite flowers there. She thinks that Eric has sent the flowers to her to say sorry for what he had done in the past. Later, she goes to meet Eric, and when she asks him about the flowers, Eric tells her that he did not send the flowers to her at the restaurant. She gets really confused and goes out to smoke a cigarette. Seth comes there and tries to talk to her. He tells her that he was the one who sent her the flowers, and Holly thinks that he is a psychopath. She runs inside towards Eric, and Seth follows her as Eric grabs her and beats him up. He then throws him out of the restaurant. As Seth is lying on the floor, he sees Holly's diary on the ground next to him. He picks up the diary and brings it home with him. Back at home, Seth reads the diary and finds out everything about Holly. Seth is thinking a lot about what has been happening to him. Next, we see him go to the secret room he found at his workplace. He brings in some equipment for building a cage and then uses the internet to build a cage. He goes to the medicine department and takes some injections which are used to sedate animals. First, he goes home and uses the injection upon himself to see if it'll work or not. As he injects himself, his body gets paralyzed. Seth has a whole plan going on for something. In the next scene, we see that he follows Holly to her home. As she gets alone, there he uses this chance to hit her with the injection. As she gets paralyzed, he put her into a box and takes the box to the animal control department. As he brings the box inside, one of his co-workers asks him about it, but he distracts his attention with other things and manages to get the box inside without any issues. As soon as Holly snaps out of the effects of the injection, she finds herself inside a cage. This is the same cage that Seth was building in that secret room. 
As she tries to get out of the cage, she breaks her nail and it falls outside of the cage. She tries to shout for help but no one hears her as she is in the basement and animals were barking so someone couldn't hear her voice. Seth comes inside the room and Holly is shocked. Seth gives her a pot to use for a toilet and gives her some food to eat. As he is about to leave, he tells her his name because she always used to forget him. He tells her that he is doing this for her good and then leaves her alone there and goes away. Holly has now spent an entire day inside the cage alone and her condition is getting worse. As Seth comes the next day, he gives her some water to drink and also gives her some food. As he is about to leave her again, Holly asks him not to leave her alone, but he still goes. Holly is all alone again inside that cage. She starts to get hallucinations about her roommate Claire. After that, as she is using the pot Seth gave her for toilet use and a rat comes into the cage. She gets really scared and kills the rat. The next time Seth comes, Holly asks if he will kill her and he tells her not now. Then he says if he feels like he needs to kill her, he will kill her. He also tells her that he is not doing this for himself and that he is doing this for Holly's betterment. He tells her that the first time he met her he had fallen in love with her and now he will not let her go ever. As Seth is going out of the basement, the same co-worker sees him getting out and asks him what he was doing there. Seth makes excuses in front of him and is able to get away with it. The next day when Seth comes to see Holly, he brings along with him Holly's diary which contains everything about Holly. Seth tells her that whenever he comes to see her, he hears two voices. Then he asks her if her friend Claire was also with her. He then goes on to tell her that Claire does not exist and is Holly's imagination. He tells her that she is mentally sick as she had had an imaginary friend as a roommate. Claire had never existed. The flashback takes us to Holly's past in which she finds out that Claire was having a secret affair with Eric. In an attempt to kill Claire, Holly crashes her car into Claire's car, but she survives. Holly goes to her and stabs her in the eye with a glass piece. Holly killed Claire because her boyfriend was cheating on her with Claire. After this incident, Holly started hallucinating about Claire. As Seth is telling Holly that he now knows about her dirty secret, Holly tells him that these are all fictional stories that are not true. Seth then tells her that he also thought the same, but then he went to the police station and checked how Claire died. It was the same way Holly had written in her diary. He then tells her that he had been following her for many days and he had discovered that she had killed many more people and Claire was not her only victim. He knows that she had killed someone by choking him and also killed another person by burning him. Holly is not a normal person, she is a psychopath serial killer and this was the reason he had brought her and kept her in a cage. He did not want her to kill any more people and he also did not want the police to catch her. Then Seth leaves her alone again. Seth comes to her the next day and Holly is acting differently this time. Seth knows everything about her and what she was, she cuts the act. Seth asks her why she had committed so many murders. Holly tells him the reasons but does not say anything clear to him. She then starts to manipulate him and starts to hit her head hard in the cage. She then tells him that if she dies there then Seth will be caught and he would not be able to get out of the mess. Seth looks disappointed with this awkward behavior and leaves her alone. He does not return for many days and Holly is left alone there. One day he returns and Holly asks him for something to eat. While Seth tells her that he will not give her food because he was punishing her for how she acted before by keeping her hungry. As Seth is about to leave, she starts to talk to him in a very sweet way and Seth is convinced to go get something for her to eat. As Seth leaves the basement, his co-worker sees him leave and then he goes inside the basement. There he finds Holly inside a cage. She asks him to open up the cage and let her out. As this is happening, Seth comes back and sees him. Besides shouting for help, Holly manipulates Seth into killing his co-worker and Seth comes under her influence, resulting in killing his co-worker. Now Holly turns Seth like her and she is happy about it while Seth cries. She then starts guiding Seth on how to dump a dead body so that the police will not catch Seth. She asks him to remove his teeth so that he will not be able to be identified. Seth then cuts his body into small pieces and feeds them to the dogs. He then burns the rest of the body and removes his fingerprints from everywhere. In the absence of his co-worker has not gone unnoticed and the police are on the case now. The police start the investigation by interrogating all the workers. As they interrogate Seth, they get suspicious of him. They consider him a suspect now due to how he responded during the interrogation. The police even tell Seth they will be watching him now. This has really scared Seth now and he is confused. He goes back to Holly and she says to him that he does not love her. She says that if he had loved her, he would not have kept her in a cage like that. He tells her that he loves her and he can do anything for her. Holly asks him to prove his love by cutting his finger. After listening to this, Seth gets scared but after thinking about it, he agrees to do it to prove his love for her. Seth takes a knife and cuts his finger off. Seth is in a lot of pain and he is also losing blood from the wound. Taking advantage of the situation, Holly grabs the knife and puts it on her throat and then she asks Seth to open the cage and let her out. Seth opens the cage and lets her out. 
As she gets out of the cage, she gets close to Seth to kiss him. Seth now believes that Holly also loves him, and he leans forward to kiss her back. Holly used the same knife to cut Seth's throat open, and she manages to get out of the place. The next scene takes after a few months, when we can see that Holly and Eric are together again. Holly's fictional story has been published now, and she knows that Eric is cheating on her again. Holly this time does nothing about Eric's affair. She then leaves her house and goes to an abandoned warehouse. Inside there, we can see that there is a huge cage, and there is a dirty man inside the cage. The man's finger is also missing. He also had scars on his throat and his face. This weird-looking guy is Seth, and he had been alive all along. Holly has kept him trapped in this cage all this time, and as she gets near the cage, she pets him and cries. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.